So I'm working on an album for a friend of mine, Dean Howard, and for the first time I was working on a song from start to finish entirely on my new M1 MacBook Pro. It's the 14-inch model, it's got the 10-core CPU, 32-core GPU, 64 gigs of RAM, 2 terabytes internal storage, and I'm running Cubase 12 on it. I didn't notice until the end of the session that I was actually running using Rosetta, which is the emulation mode, which basically uses the Intel build of Cubase 12 and then runs it through an emulation layer to translate it to the M1 architecture. And um, I thought it would be interesting at the end of the session because I sort of bounced off the song and it was a bit slow and I, I wondered what the difference would be. So here's the test. I've bounced the song without Rosetta, so using Apple Silicon, the native version. And then I've bounced the same song again with exactly the same settings with Rosetta on. So let's compare and see the difference. This is the Apple Silicon one. Three, two, one, go. Just a point to let you know that you are now witnessing science. You are now witnessing science. So the CPU is hovering around 368.7%, about 370%, and we are almost done. And the result is in, 5 minutes and 39 seconds for Apple Silicon. So let's quit Cubase, and we right click the application, go to get info, and click on the box that says to use Rosetta. Now we've got to reload Cubase, and render again. Three, two, one, go. And for concerned viewers, I'd just like to point out that no animals have been harmed during this experiment. As you can see, it's showing as running in Intel mode and the CPU is kind of averaging around 340, which is a little bit less. And we're almost done. And the result's in, it's six minutes and 17 seconds. So the conclusion is it's about 10% quicker running natively on Apple Silicon than running through Rosetta. Well, I've got to say, we were running with 14 tracks of drums and then I had bass, 14 other guitars, all with Amplitude 5 on them, loads of other plugins, um, synths, and it was running at a 64 sampled latency, something like that. So, um, yeah, it's absolutely insane, even running through Rosetta. But, uh, yeah, that's my comparison. I hope you enjoyed it. Please click like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Bye.